Jordan had just had his encounter with Timothy, he needed to go tell everyone he could at the sheds. Guys! Guys! Well, well, well! Look who decided to show up! Yeah, well, well, well indeed. What do you want, Gordon? Guys, you don't understand. It's Timothy. He's still alive. I saw him. He had bloodshot red eyes. He just came out of nowhere during my passenger run. And really, why should we be sure of this? Asked Edward. Because it's from me. It's true. Gordon, stop joking about Timothy. We're all still grieving, you know. But I'm not joking. I really saw him. You can ask my driver and fireman. We didn't see anything. You did. How dare you disobey me like this? Your own train. Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. Yeah. It's not believable. We all can agree on that, said Edward. Yeah said Jinty. Please. I'm serious. You're not. We would appreciate if you shut up, Gordon. We have had every single thing. Just, we have been enraged. Edward, I thought you were on my side about this. Not anymore. You take all of these tank engines for granted. You just... Why do you have to start this? There's no reason whatsoever for this to happen. We, all of us, have to, there's rarely, it's rarely a time where any of us actually get to run a passenger run. Has anyone here ever ran a passenger run once? I did, only once though, to replace Adam. See? Only Lily. None of us have. You have a big ego, and I understand that. But we're not doing this. So, we would all like for you to go to sleep and bugger off. I'm very sorry. I'm, I will just go to, to sleep. And never joke about Timothy again. Do you understand me, Gordon? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. Am I that much of a disgrace to the LNER? Cheer up, old boy. You'll be fine. Alfred, Rogan, what are you doing here? I thought you were all on freight work. <laughs> yeah, Gordon. We were... Yeah. And basically what I'm saying is you really shouldn't worry about what they're saying, you know? They're just mad because you're so much better than them. I mean, I am. Then take that with pride. You shouldn't let all these small little engines tell us what to do. We are bigger engines. We have passenger work because we are special and we are most crucial to the railway. If it weren't for us, those little engines wouldn't have anything to do, wouldn't it? If it weren't for us, those little engines wouldn't barely would even exist. I believe that's partially incorrect. And anyway, about Timothy. He's just a little tank engine. Don't worry about him. He's deaf. Acceptable losses in the battle of the save this railway. Why does this railway need saving? Simply because 
It just needs it. It doesn't get enough good engines. We are the ones that are good. And then we will start revolutionizing, and there will be more and more of us. Yeah, just imagine so much l L N E R A ones, A twos, A threes. And then imagine so many B twelves. Imagine so much more of you. I feel that you should both just let me be asleep. This is partially done. Both of you are wrong, and I refuse to take your supposedly I'm assuming it's an offer to get over this. Precisely, old boy. I already spoke with my driver about this. Stop calling me old boy. It's very annoying. Now, if you'll excuse me, boys, I am going to take a rest. Good night. <laughs> See yourself. Yes. You will regret refusing this offer with me and Kroben. Mark my words. Finally, it was the morning. Gordon had just woke up from being repainted and given a new whistle valve. Ugh, what horrible, horrendous sleep I've had. We've all had horrendous sleep, Gordon. Don't pretend like you're the only one. Not everything's about you, you know. I know that. Very much. Oh, Gordon, you're awake. Good, spend it. Um, we repainted you. The uh, junctionman said your colors were too vibrant for him to see. Er, excuse me, for when you were rushing by. That's nonsense. My colors are perfectly fine. Yes, right now they are, Gordon. Last time that you were as light as a firefly. Scotsman. I miss Scotsman. Who's Scotsman? And why did you bring him up all of a sudden? Oh, he's just my brother. I just miss him. All that is. Anyway, Gordon, today's your joyride day. And, oh, excuse me, your free day. And we are taking a joyride. And your whistle has been changed. It has? Yes, just take a listen. Splendid. Maybe this day won't be so bad after all. Well, I've had horrible sleep. I have no work to do. Again, not everything is about you, Gordon. I know, Alfred. Let us commence forth, driver, with our joyride. Are we just taking a normal joyride? Yes, Gordon. And that's all we're going to be doing today. That will be nice. Though I do like this new paintwork. I still have my L and E R, which is fine for me. I should tr I should try and enjoy myself today. Maybe maybe yesterday was just a hallucination. <laughs>
absolutely disgusting. He gets a new paint job just right after he causes all this trouble. I tell you, it don't be right. It really isn't. I mean, he caused so much trouble. Like, why does he deserve to get a break? I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Alright. <sighs> I've got to go. See you, lads. I've got to go get some tools for a sick engine, I think it was. Yeah, i got to gather some stuff. See ya, Edward. See ya, Thomas. I really don't think that Gordon deserves a new paint job and a new whistle. He literally did not earn it. <sighs> Alright. So, Gordon was on the run, with his joyride, with his driver and fireman, having a heck of a time, until he came across a green engine, who currently was waiting at the works to be repaired. Oi oi, what's this then? That's a, that's an engine, Gordon. Well, well I understand that, but I've never seen him in my life. Oh, um, hi. Uh, I'm Henry. Hello, Henry. Why have I never seen you here before? Oh, that's because, um, uh, how do I put this? My design is very flawed. I run horribly. Um, and I feel feeling ill all the time. I'm always here at the works, and, um, they never want me to leave because of how ill I am, and I they really can't work at all. Um, so I've just been here at the works. Well, why are you so ill, and the, is there a solution? Like I said, it's with my design. I just can't run properly. My firebox is too small. I can't get enough energy out, and I always feel sick, and I don't know the solution yet. The railway has been suggesting Welsh coal, but it's too expensive. So, and off. And I know that this is just kind of the beginning of the railway. So I don't know how to really, you know, I don't know. Well, I hope you get better. Uh, what did you say your name was? Uh, Henry. My name's Henry. What about you? I'm Gordon. The LNER Express Engine, and on this railway, the Express Engine. <laughs> it's a nice title. Has anyone ever told you that you have a massive ego, Gordon? Well, at least I'm not stuck here all day. Good day. What an obnoxious, stubborn engine. The worst one I've seen in my life. Surely we'll get you out of here, Henry. It can't be that hard, right? It probably is. Uh. Gordon. Maybe try considering to be a bit nicer to the engine. He's really unfortunate. And he's when we are obviously much more fortunate. True, but then again, maybe it's his fault. How can it be his fault? It was probably the designer's fault. You know, after this, we should very much go ask who about the con the controller about this because that is confusing. I want him to be running. It would be nice. He seems like a very nice engine, and I don't think that you should use that type of language against him. Ah, Random Bay, finally. 
currently basically the biggest place on the island so far. Not the biggest station, but the biggest place. Seriously, there will be no reason to cut our offer. We are two perfectly fine. We are a fine pair. I will say that to you, Groban. And if Gordon would be added to our group, we would be the best. But I just don't understand why he refused. We didn't do anything to him. Oh, but dear lord, he is so washed over by all this Timothy Schmimothy Huyani business. What the heck is a Huyani? I don't know, Krogan. I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated I just came up with that word. Uh, not even a word, just gibberish. I'll be honest with you. And now what I'm saying is I'm just really tired of this. I think that you and me should try our best to hijack Gordon's trains. That sounds like a perfectly good idea. If it like, if I'm honest to you, man, that sounds like a great idea. Thank you. Dear Lord, what was that? I I, I don't know. Oh, it's just you. Just me. I find that a bit insulting. Of course it's insulting. You're a tank engine, not anything like us. I would actually beg to differ. You, Proven, and me. We are both. Well, also Groven, I suppose. We are both ruthless now. And I have a proposition for you. So Gordon was right? You're, you're alive? Zip it, Lieutenant Obvious. Anyways, I have a proposition. We are all of us, the three of us, equal. I heard your conversation about your group. I want to join. Join? What do you mean by joy? You're a join, you're a tank engine. That doesn't matter. I hold lots of power. Two weeks ago, I killed a teenager. He was the one who made me like this. But you died three weeks ago. Correct. Now, what I would like to offer is the three of us in an alliance. Why would we have? Why would we? Why would we have any reason to join? To let you join us? You're a homicidal maniac. Even we're not that bad. We're not yet. If you don't follow my orders, I will do the same thing I did with the teenager. With you. Now, my proposition is, if you join me, I won't grant you, both of you, immortality. Like me, you can join me. You can send whoever you want to hell. You will have so much power. In return, we will rendezvous every week at night and talk about my plan to destroy this pathetic excuse of a railway. So, are you in? Or are you out? I promise you, this will be the greatest deal of your life. We will gladly take the offer. As long as we can have one more condition. What is that? If 
we are allowed to have you play with Gordon. He's really pissing me off. Me too. He's a big part of why I died. After this, I won't be here for a long, long time. Goodbye. If anything, I will say, that was the weirdest encounter of my life. Amen to that. <laughs>